In the dazzling world of Hollywood's golden age, the actress, Dorothy Sebastian, was a shining star. Born on March 26, 1903, in Birmingham, Alabama, she pursued her dreams and became a prominent figure in the film industry. Gracing the silver screen with her undeniable charm and talent, Dorothy Sebastian quickly made a name for herself. She first appeared in the 1929 film The Great Divide, which opened doors to more significant roles in the years that followed. Throughout her career, the actress starred in various films, including Our Blushing Brides and The Five Kings Woman. Her on-screen presence was captivating, and her ability to portray complex characters with grace and authenticity left a lasting impression on her audience. Dorothy Sebastian's impact on the film industry transcended her time. She worked alongside some of the most prominent actors and actresses of her era, including Joan Crawford and Clark Gable. Together, they created unforgettable moments in cinematic history. In her personal life, Dorothy Sebastian was married three times. Her first husband was actor William Boyd, best known for his role as Hopalong Cassidy. Later, she married Robert Flatley and, finally, Harmon M. Nelson. As the years passed, Dorothy Sebastian's star continued to shine. She remained a beloved figure in Hollywood, cherished for her contributions to the film industry. Even after her retirement from acting, her legacy lived on, inspiring future generations of actors and actresses. On April 8, 1957, Dorothy Sebastian passed away in Los Angeles, California. Her life and career were a testament to the power of dreams and the magic of cinema. To this day, her films continue to resonate with audiences, leaving a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. Dorothy Sebastian was a well-known actress during the 1920s and 1930s. She appeared in numerous films, including The Divorcee and Show People. Do you have a favorite moment from one of her films that has stayed with you? Or perhaps you remember the first time you saw her on the big screen? We would love to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. There are many fascinating facts about Dorothy Sebastian that you might not know. From funny anecdotes to shocking revelations, we'll be sharing it all in this video. Did you know that Dorothy Sebastian was actually married three times? Or that she was close friends with actress Joan Crawford? These are just a few of the interesting facts we'll be exploring in this video. So, whether you're a longtime fan of Dorothy Sebastian or just discovering her for the first time, there's something for everyone in this video. Keep watching to learn more about this fascinating actress. Born in 1903 in Birmingham, Alabama, the actress was the youngest of three children. Her father, a successful businessman, and her mother, a homemaker, encouraged her love for the arts from a young age. The actress's early exposure to theater and literature in her childhood home would later influence her successful career in Hollywood. The actress's older sister, a dancer, introduced her to the world of performing arts. She would often take the actress to local theater productions and dance recitals. These experiences sparked a passion for the stage and the actress, and she began performing in school plays and community theater productions. After graduating from high school, the actress moved to New York City to pursue a career in acting. She studied drama at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts and appeared in several off-Broadway productions. It was during this time that she met her mentor, a well-known Broadway director who recognized her talent and potential. Under his guidance, the actress honed her craft and developed her unique style. She learned to convey emotion through subtle facial expressions and body language rather than relying solely on dialogue. This skill would become one of her trademarks and set her apart from other actresses of her time. The actress's big break came when she was discovered by a Hollywood talent scout and offered a contract with MGM Studios. She made her film debut in a small role in the 1925 silent film The Only Thing. From there, she went on to appear in numerous films throughout the 1920s and 1930s, including The Divorcee and The Smiling Lieutenant. Despite her success, the actress remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She continued to study and learn from her peers and mentors, always striving to improve her skills and push the boundaries of her art. Her passion for acting and her commitment to her craft have left a lasting impact on the film industry and continue to inspire aspiring actors today. The actress was born in Birmingham, Alabama in 1903. Her father was a successful businessman and her mother was a homemaker. The actress was the youngest of three children. 
Her early life was comfortable and privileged, and she was exposed to the arts from a young age. When she was 18, the actress moved to New York City to pursue a career in acting. She studied at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts and appeared in several stage productions. In 1925, she moved to Hollywood and began appearing in silent films. The actress's career took off in the late 1920s when she appeared in several successful films, including Show People and The Awful Truth. She became known for her comedic timing and her ability to play sophisticated, glamorous characters. In the early 1930s, the actress's career was briefly derailed by personal issues. She was married and divorced twice during this period, and her personal life received a lot of attention from the press. However, she eventually returned to acting and continued to appear in films throughout the 1930s and 1940s. Throughout her career, the actress worked with many of the biggest names in Hollywood, including Greta Garbo, Clark Gable, and Joan Crawford. She was known for her professionalism and her ability to hold her own against more experienced actors. The actress retired from acting in the late 1940s and, and lived quietly in Beverly Hills until her death in 1957. She was remembered for her contributions to the early days of Hollywood and her ability to bring laughter and glamour to the screen. Ever since the actress was a young girl, she was drawn to the magic of the silver screen. At the age of five, she would sneak into her local theater, enchanted by the stories that unfolded before her. One day, she saw a woman on screen, radiating grace and strength, and something inside her clicked. She knew, with a certainty she had never felt before, that she wanted to be an actress. As she grew older, her passion for acting only intensified. She would put on plays in her backyard, using her friends as actors and her family as the audience. She would spend hours poring over scripts, memorizing lines, and perfecting her craft. When she was 18, she got her big break. She was cast in a small role in a local show, and she was a natural. The director was impressed by her talent and offered her a larger role in his next production. From there, her career took off. One pivotal experience that fueled her desire to pursue acting was when she saw a play by the famous playwright, Eugene O'Neill. The actress was deeply moved by the raw emotion and the powerful storytelling. She knew then that she wanted to tell stories that would touch people's hearts and make them think. The actress's passion for acting was not just about being on stage or in front of the camera. It was about the creative process, the collaboration, and the opportunity to explore the human condition. She once said, acting is not just about speaking the lines. It's about becoming the character, understanding their motivations, and bringing them to life. Her dedication to her craft was evident in every role she played. She brought depth and nuance to her characters, making them feel real and relatable. Her performances resonated with audiences, leaving a lasting impression. In the end, the actress's passion for acting was not just about her love for the stage or the screen. It was about her desire to tell stories that matter, stories that would inspire, entertain, and move people. And in that, she truly succeeded. Actress Dorothy Sebastian was friends with several other famous stars, including Louise Brooks, Anita Page, and Joan Crawford. She was also in a relationship with Buster Keaton from 1929 to 1935. In the film show people, the actress can be seen in the banquet scene, surrounded by other well-known faces of the time. The order in which they appear on screen is as follows Dorothy Sebastian, Loella Parsons, Estelle Taylor, Claire Windsor, Aileen Pringle, Carl Dane, George K. Arthur, Leatrice Joy, Renea Dore, Rod LaRock, Mee Murray, John Gilbert, Norma Talmadge, Douglas Fairbanks, Marion Davies, and Williams Hart. During the filming of Show People, the actress was at the height of her career and mingling with some of the most prominent figures in the industry. The banquet scene is a testament to the star-studded world of silent film and the actress's place within it. Despite facing numerous challenges early on, the actress, Dorothy Sebastian, remained tenacious and resourceful. Born into a family of modest means, she struggled financially during her childhood. However, she was determined to pursue her dreams of becoming an actress. In the beginning, the film industry was skeptical of her talents. She faced numerous rejections and setbacks, but she never gave up. Instead, she used these obstacles as opportunities to hone her craft and improve her skills. To make ends meet, the actress took on various jobs, including working as a model and a sales clerk. 
She also took acting classes and performed in small theater productions. Her dedication and hard work paid off when she finally landed her first film role. Despite being typecast in minor roles, the actress continued to work hard and prove herself as a talented actress. She took on any role she was offered, no matter how small or insignificant it seemed. She used these opportunities to showcase her skills and prove her worth in the industry. As she gained more experience and recognition, the actress began to land larger and more significant roles. She starred in several successful films, including Show People and The Divorcee, which earned her critical acclaim and a legion of fans. Throughout her career, the actress faced numerous challenges, but she never let them defeat her. She remained resilient and determined, always finding creative solutions to overcome any obstacle that came her way. Her story is a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of never giving up on one's dreams. Actress Dorothy Sebastian, also known as Slam, had a distinctive nickname due to her habit of passing out cold after a few drinks. This habit was humorously incorporated into the film Spike Marriage by her lover, Buster Keaton, where he struggles to put his very drunk wife, played by Sebastian, to bed. The gag became a career highlight for the actress and was even revived as part of Keaton's stage show in the 1940s. Before her film career, Sebastian was a Ziegfeld girl a prestigious position in the world of entertainment. The Ziegfeld Follies were a series of lavish reviews on Broadway, known for their beautiful and talented performers. As a Ziegfeld girl, Sebastian would have been part of a glamorous and exclusive group, performing in elaborate costumes and production numbers. Sebastian's career in film spanned several years, and she appeared in a number of notable productions. However, it was her work with Keaton that became particularly memorable thanks in part to the unique gag in Spike Marriage. The actress's ability to bring humor and charm to her roles, even while playing a drunk character, showcased her talent and versatility. In addition to her work in film, Sebastian also appeared in stage shows, including Keaton's revived gag routine from Spike Marriage. Her performances were no doubt appreciated by audiences who were drawn to her talent and charisma. Overall, Dorothy Sebastian's career in entertainment was marked by her versatility and talent, as well as her unique nickname and memorable performances. Whether on stage or screen, she left a lasting impression on audiences and fellow performers alike. In 1929, the actress's career reached a pivotal moment with the release of the groundbreaking film, The Divorcee. The movie, which also starred Norma Shearer and Chester Morris, explored the complexities of modern marriage and earned five Academy Award nominations, including for Best Picture. The actress's portrayal of Jerry, a close friend of Shearer's character, was praised for its depth and nuance. Critics and collaborators alike took note of the actress's talent. As renowned film critic Mordaunt Hall wrote in the New York Times, Dorothy Sebastian is excellent as the understanding friend. Meanwhile, her co-star Norma Shearer was quoted as saying, Dorothy brought a warmth and humanity to her role that truly elevated the film. The actress's success in The Divorcee led to a string of high-profile roles in the early 1930s. She starred alongside some of the biggest names in Hollywood, including Clark Gable, James Cagney, and Joan Crawford. Her work during this time was marked by a fearlessness in tackling complex and often controversial subjects. In the 1932 film Red-Headed Woman, the actress played a woman who uses her sexuality to climb the social ladder, a role that was considered daring for the time. The film was a critical and commercial success, and the actress's performance was widely praised. Throughout her career, the actress remained committed to pushing boundaries and exploring the complexities of human emotion. Her work left an indelible mark on the film industry and continues to resonate with audiences today. As film historian Molly Haskell has noted, Dorothy Sebastian was a true pioneer, unafraid to take on challenging roles and explore the full range of human experience on screen. Dorothy Sebastian, an actress born in 1903, was known for her work in both silent and sound films. She was discovered by a talent scout while working as a sales clerk in a Baltimore department store. In an interview, Sebastian's co-star, Buster Keaton, praised her talent and work ethic, stating, Dorothy was a real trooper. She always came prepared and was a joy to work with. One memorable quote from Sebastian herself came during a 1929 interview with Film Daily, where she discussed the challenges of transitioning from silent films to talkies. She said, I had to learn to project my voice 
and enunciate clearly. It was a whole new way of acting. Behind the scene, Sebastian was known for her kindness and generosity. Co-star and friend, Billy Dove, shared an anecdote about how Sebastian once gave her an expensive fur coat as a gift. Dorothy was always so generous and thoughtful, Dove said. Despite her success, Sebastian's career was relatively short-lived. She retired from acting in the early 1940s and passed away in 1957. However, her impact on the film industry and her memorable performances continue to be celebrated by film enthusiasts today. In a 1930 interview with Photoplay, Sebastian reflected on her career and stated, I've been lucky to have had some great roles and work with talented people. I'm grateful for the experiences and memories. The actress, Dorothy Sebastian, had a unique approach to her work. She was known for her meticulous preparation and attention to detail. Before filming, she would thoroughly research her character's background, motivations, and personality traits. This allowed her to fully embody the character and deliver a more authentic performance. Moreover, the actress was not afraid to take on challenging roles. She often chose characters that were complex and multidimensional, which allowed her to showcase her versatility as an actress. Her ability to convincingly portray characters from different backgrounds and walks of life was a testament to her talent and dedication. The actress's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in her work. Growing up during the early 20th century, she was influenced by the social and cultural changes of the time. This is evident in her portrayal of strong, independent women who challenged traditional gender roles. In addition, the actress was known for her unique style. She had a natural grace and elegance that was evident in her movements and gestures. This, combined with her ability to convey emotion through her eyes, made her a captivating presence on screen. Ultimately, the actress's artistic vision and process were shaped by her passion for acting and her desire to tell compelling stories. Her work continues to resonate with audiences today, serving as a testament to her enduring talent and impact on the film industry. As a dedicated fan, you must have your own favorite performances from the actress. Was it her work in Show People that caught your attention, or perhaps her role in the divorce scene? We'd love to hear your thoughts on her impact on the film industry. The actress was known for her ability to fully embody each character she played, making every performance truly memorable. Her work in the show is a testament to her talent and versatility. Did you know that the actress got her start in the entertainment industry as a dancer before transitioning to acting? This just goes to show her dedication and passion for the arts. We encourage you to share your favorite memories and thoughts on the actress's work in the comments below. Let's celebrate her enduring legacy together. And if you enjoy this content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more articles celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Your support means the world to